Only a few hours drive from Melbourne, you will find a family-friendly hub of holidaymakers enjoying the relaxing and picturesque surroundings at Bright Holiday Park. hang out, read a book, have a wine, which we're about to do in a minute. Um, yeah, good facilities. Shower and pressure is pretty good. <laughs> That's <laughs> a must, class. is it? <laughs> you can enjoy an open fire, bring your dog, and relax in comfort. In fact, there is so much to do at Bright Holiday Park that you'll never want to leave. Or will you? Quite conveniently, just down the road, you will find one of Australia's finest microbreweries, the famous Bright Brewery. If you're around on a Friday, they'll even take you for a tour inside their secret beer brewing studio. Perhaps what gives Bright Beer its trademark taste is the quality and character of the fresh mountain water that runs off the surrounding snowy hills. And it just so happens that that water is perfect for farming delicious trout and salmon at the nearby mountain fresh trout and salmon farm. So here we are in Bright. Julia's just caught one. And I'm going to try and attempt to catch one. So we will go playing. <laughs> How easy was that? <laughs> we caught ourselves dinner for the evening and cooked it over the hot coals of our campfire. Now we had been waiting eagerly for the right conditions for paragliding. However, the weather conditions were unsuitable during the short time we stayed. So instead, we decided to take a drive up to both Mount Hotham and Falls Creek, two popular ski towns in the region. Can you tell us where we are now? We're at uh, Mount Hotham, and it's pretty awesome as you can wow. see. We've got great weather, and there's snow! Yeah! Although ski season had finished, there was still enough snow to enjoy a run down the snowy slopes. Thank you to Bright Holiday Park for such a great stay. I'm sure we'll be back there again.